By the time Amitabh Bachchan came out on your telly to say just dial for any number, ah. just dial had become a must dial for anyone looking for any number or address in their neighborhood or anywhere else in most big cities. But few of the hundreds and thousands of callers who ring in to just dial or log on each day realize that the service that they are so accustomed to has an interesting journey. Thanks to this man who started with nothing but an idea. But he was lucky because he was at the right place. Justile is definitely just in time, but the second time. The first time we tried, we failed. That was in 89. Um, we were trying to displace print media at that time over the phone, a different service by a different name. Uh, couldn't survive beyond two years. So wound up and then I had to wait for four years to start this business all over again. And when 96 we launched Justile, the sign, you couldn't have got a better uh, timing than that. The telecom revolution really helped us, uh, a, you know, take off like anything. And also people were hungry for information. People were getting into the self-help kind of a, a society, you know, so that really helped us. India's telecom revolution might have helped money, but it wasn't as easy as just plugging into the millions of new telephone users it brought in. Money got just dialed right after two failed attempts, including an Ask Me. But he turned a crisis into a launch pad. When we started, we had no capital and we had to do this business. So it was extremely challenging for us. So one is to get youngsters believe in you and work for you. That was the biggest challenge. So I would gather the uh, you know, young uh, college going kids around the area I would tell them that this is uh, something you can learn and earn also. So we got the initial crowd in and then we would motivate them to go with the form and actually fill up the form and go business to business, door to door and gather information. Fortunately or unfortunately for me, I had this uh, idea of starting this business, I didn't have any money. So I had to wait for one year applying for phone lines and the phone lines to uh, you know actually get uh, phone lines and afford a computer and things like that so in that one year period i could gather a lot of data probably a big advantage that you had was the number that you always got right uh, you've always said that the number was the most crucial point from where it all started so why is the number so important over here we learned it from our mistake in the earlier avatar the name of the service was known more than the number Which in fact it was called ask me then so I would actually go to a social gathering, people would say, wow, what a wonderful company you're running and, and ask me and all that. And by the way, what was the number? And I would wonder, like, this is something which, which uh, I got to help people at the time of need and they wouldn't even remember my number. So it's, uh, it's, it's like a lost uh, cause. So then I promised myself the next time I start, start this business, I'm not going to repeat any of these mistakes. So one of that was get the number right. It's like a domain name for a, a internet company. You, know, you have to get the domain name right at the same time we got the number right. And I used to be like so obsessed with the number like you know in the in those days I used to just dream of these numbers like 888 or 222 and uh, various numbers that you know and once told a child couldn't, cannot even forget so that really paid off also you have to spend less money on advertising or marketing to promote because people would once told they would remember it for a lifetime. Just Dial started out at a garage quite lately and money is proud to hang on to that but the bunch of college kids who went around collecting data on foot has been now replaced by over 4,000 employees who do far more as Just Dial covers more than 240 Indian cities. Coimbatore, Chandigarh, Bhubaneswar, Jaipur, Durgapur, Kolapur, Nalanda, Baki Kishayra, please. The spread of this simple idea came because it served two basic needs. The need for information and numbers even down your street and the need for small businesses to connect with the market. In fact, Just Dial models itself along the lines of Google. Or is it the other way around, as money claims? I mean, to be honest, we came much before Google came, actually. Uh -huh. we, we, I mean, uh, at least the earlier avatar. Okay. And in 96, of course, it's, it's by then internet uh, was known in the world. The model is actually simple. It's, it's like small businesses pay to promote their biz, uh, business and users get it for free now if you look at good old days there used to be directories published and distributed free by the phone book companies 
and uh, a newspaper of course you pay for it and you get some content which is also advertised content so we kind of had a similar model where the sponsored listers pay for it and the users get it for free and we would we always said if we want to be successful we must keep in mind that our service would be absolutely free of cost so free fast and accurate is what was our mantra you know and we keep doing that even today but the platforms change the content changes there's so much of rich content now you know so for example if you do a search on just style you you get to see the ratings of these businesses so you've actually used the concept of crowdsourcing very very well in this we realized at some point a couple of years back we realized that it's not going to be just the content that we create but also the users of our service what they have to say about a restaurant or a doctor or a or a business and we started tapping that and the initial attempt failed actually initial attempt we actually asked them expected them to come online and write long reviews mm -hmm. then we realized that in india people do not like to write long reviews not they want to read uh, a lengthy review but they all add an opinion about things we said let's tap that so we tried asking them about to rate businesses we went to that restaurant last time around how was your experience and we realized within few months we had such rich uh, piece of information today just style is the only company in the world which actually gives you rating trends in a graph format in a bar chart because we have real time ratings on a daily basis we have more than 12 million ratings right now growing at 100000 a day and now if you go to just style and search for a restaurant or a doctor and you will see his ratings number of people who have rated it and it will tell you over a period of last 4 months how his rating has been it is going up or down by filling a massive gap at the micro level and connecting the dots in local commerce just style has come a long way today it does a lot more using the increasing connectivity and technology to add the bells and whistles more on that when we return meet bss money the man behind jasta and you'll find him always brimming over with ideas a chartered accountant turned entrepreneur he's almost obsessed with the possibilities of technology Money believes that what has made a simple idea that he had into a company with over 240 crores in revenue is a fact that it has always innovated. Date, 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 or log on to justal.com. In fact, money believes Justal success came from the fact that it has actually disrupted its own model many times. See, if you look at worldwide businesses that perished, they perished because someone else came and disrupted the model. You know. So like a DVD rental business used to be a big thriving business in the US you know there someone comes and just Netflix uh, says I'll stream it online and that business like shuts down so this is what what just style does it we keep disrupting our own model so we look at it in a very critical manner so when if you remember we used to there was a time when leisurely pays our operators used to talk to you and you would write it down and it, each call is to last for a 3 minutes you know then we realized like okay people don't have time there's so much of human communication errors you know thing always happens you know and also is there a smarter better way to do it so we introduced this text and email information so you call up and we actually text an email you would be surprised for the first one week we had so many complaints from users saying that protest actually over the phone next week changed there was entire country people are speaking wow what a world class service is this before i could keep my phone i got the text message i got the email there the pressure to constantly innovate and disrupt can also mean that you can get things sometimes quite wrong take for example just dial's foray into the online world just dial.com we actually dabbled with a bit of internet in 2000 and realized it is you know ahead of time so let's not even do anything because there was so much of resource uh, constraint there so we actually la launched a website only in 2007 imagine a company which registered its domain name justile.com way back in 97 you know when most indians didn't know about internet and we actually launched a website only in 2007 but in 2007 we saw a real sari feat of internet service providers and there were so many people having access to internet either at least at work if not at home to wire broadband and it took off so we rode that wave and then we realized mobile now mobile is going to change completely into india's face as as far as internet is concerned india has always been the story about 
why in India internet didn't happen? You know, it's in China, look at internet penetration is 40%. In India, it's still about 10%. I'm saying in the next two years, more than 40% of Indians will have access to internet through this small device called cell phone. And these phones, today you get these phones for six, seven, eight thousand rupees, and they're so smart with thanks to Google, they're giving the free Android operating system with touchscreen uh, features. It's like a computer in your hand. It's no more a phone, actually. Mm -hmm. So now we are capitalizing that. So, so how will a Just Dial capitalize on something like that? Do you think what you're talking about, the service on demand, the call-in right. service, For example, is really risking and you know taking it, the concept too far? Do you think it will really work? It is not. Actually, you as a user, you're evolving. So you started using your cell phone now to do search. No more the PC. In fact, there is a shift from PC to the mobile phone right now as far as search is concerned. Now, now you do this and then you say, okay, okay I've got such a quality content uh, I mean, uh, device, why can't I transact? You, you want to book your tickets here. You want to book your table in a, a restaurant just using this tool. So this is where we are evolving. But so my point is that there are already service providers doing that. They use, use making uh, the mobile a very, very tangible e-commerce right. uh, platform. Right. So, so what um, Just I believe... What do you bring to the table? So we are uh, believers in enabling. We would not get into the business. We won't be in the business of travel, but we will enable travel companies. We, we, I mean, if if a hotel, let's say, uh, the Taj Group of hotel, wants to give us the API for their reservation booking here, I will definitely enable that and make it available here. It can be anybody. We are agnostic about that. We think that users should come to one destination called Just I, where they get a multiple choice and they are able to transact also. But there is still a concept which is a little far, but my, my, my question to you is also, what is interesting about Just Dial is that, and I have asked you this before, you have always been more interested in the B2B connectivity and connecting the users over there and using that little triangle than actually trying to take away business from somebody else and doing something on your own. Why is that? Is that the essence of what you are essentially okay. uh, you know, focusing on? Let's put it this on? way. For us, the revenue is from businesses. But we have a consumer facing service. So we cater to the janta, the people, but we have people who pay us money are the businesses, primarily the small medium businesses. Now, in the early days when we started the business, there was no quality mechanism for these businesses to generate leads for their, uh, you know, they could advertise bit there, bit here, and they would not get a proper return on investment. So just I'll give that as an option. We might have disrupted a few traditional channels at the time when we offered this as a quality lead generation tool. Then they moved, users moved, users moved to the net. So we said, okay, now we got to generate what I call it as enabling offline to online. Offline businesses, making them online. It is better for you in terms of revenue also because you have Absolutely. you have a face to the company that you've been asking for with yeah. their ability for their logos to come in, the ads to come in and all of that. And also as a user, you would be more confident to see a business and the photographs out there, reviews and ratings of other people and you then take a call. So here you're not check, looking at a list of four names, you're actually looking at content that is there which you can use and your discretion. A consumer facing service that is driven by technology that is changing, Just Dial has to look at what next constantly. In fact, as we talk, money takes me through the latest idea that has caught his fancy. An idea that he believes can be a game changer. Very soon, we're giving you this app, probably within the next couple of weeks. You click on it and tag your friends. So you tag your friends in Just Dial, and that's very easy to tag because this app provides you. Click on it, it takes the names from your address book, shows it to you. You can check, uncheck people and submit and you have tagged your friends within a minute. Then Just Dial tells you what your friend said about this XYZ restaurant and that particular spa and this particular doctor and this particular place. That's what you would love. But now imagine all these wow experience we can bring. One, of course, we have to conceive this and we have to exp we'd say, okay, if I as a consumer, I would like to know my friend's reviews and my friend's ratings, then you try to implement that. Then when you try to do it, you face challenges. You know, you try, there are several ways to do a thing. So first time we tried the review rating thing, it fell flat on us because people are not motivated to go online, write long reviews. Then we cracked the Indian code. The Indian idea is that people have an opinion about everything and they're quick to give that, but they do not want to sit and write a long review, nor they do want to read the reviews. Yeah. When we did that, today we have 12.5 million ratings. And this is like when you go and tag your friends, you'll be surprised to see several of your friends have rated businesses. And that gives you more confidence to use Just Dial.
This new app can give crowdsourcing a whole new dimension. And there is more to come at the Bangalore Center, where hundreds of software engineers are working on new ideas that can drive JustDial in the future. And while the technology head of JustDial, Sandeep and Chattopadhyay, says all these ideas may not work, the run rate is quite good. When you are dealing with a million people a day, there is only a, I mean, you can do any amount of things. So choosing our battles perfectly is always the case. So technology is where the battle lines are drawn first. And our typical thing is if we suggest about four or five things to the management and we propose and take it along as ideas, probably one gets sanctioned. And this is happening all in every three months, four months kind of a thing. But with so much happening in technology and such a world of possibilities, how does a company like Justile plan the technology for the future? And the frontiers of technology that you are going on to in terms of product is one aspect. The other aspect is increasing the experiential factor, even in existing product. The features you keep on introducing, the kind of addendums you do to the current software, just to make the WoW experience increase more and more, even for what you are using. Sandeepan says that Just Dial is lucky because it gets almost instant feedback for all the new stuff it puts out and sometimes it can be a loud no. But in this business you try and learn. In fact Just Dial's founder Money has an interesting take on failure. More on that when we return. Today few remember that there was a time when we used a bulky book, the yellow pages to find numbers or called a neighbor to find a store. Garme jaati hai na, aapko chahiye sirf ek contact. Justdial.com. Pandit ji. Pandit ji nahi. Hamit ji. Now you just have to call, log on to the net or SMS. While Justdial might have helped bring the change, it has bigger plans. It's in the US and one day wants to list on the Nasdaq and it is also planning the same here. But that seems to have been pushed just that bit. Actually, there's no delay. Uh, what happened was the entire process took us so much time and we went on a road show and the response has been phenomenal. In fact, uh, uh, it, it has been such that they said they didn't want to meet Indian companies and only one of the very few companies they wanted to meet was the Just, Just Isle. And we met about 40 investors in India and abroad and they all wanted to, a good majority of them wanted to participate in the, what you call an anchor uh, participation, which is like before the IPO. Uh, but we felt that timing was slightly, see, to be honest, we wanted it to be a very big event. We wanted Just Style IPO to break all records in the space. So, in that sense, the timing didn't make. Uh, yeah, almost the Facebook of India you wanted to make it, huh? I won't uh, compare with uh, <laughs> Facebook. Uh, uh, two different businesses but then we wanted to make it a really a big event not just uh, the number of times oversubscribed but also create value for the investors you know once you invest you know the stocks to trade at a pretty reasonably high premium uh, we thought that way the timing was not appropriate let's actually and fortunately for us one of our existing investors all our investors have deep pockets and they're very really funded and they want to looking for great opportunities and one of our investors uh, Sequoia Capital said we'll write the entire check that you wanted to raise into the company and as far as secondary exist was concerned all the investors were actually reluctant to sell they were cribbing about selling in the IPO because they want to hold this stock for a longer period I think it's a win-win for all of us so there was unanimous decision. So how much go. fresh money have you gotten and what are you going to do with this because you've got ambitious plans obviously right. how do you scale up what is your next target for scaling up? So our focus is technology so we are going to strengthen we have set up a, a lab in Bangalore called JD Labs their job is to churn cooler new products and be employing IITians as many you know pedigree people to come with the best world-class product you know which we can then take it back to our relationship customers so you're talking about apps you're talking about what kind of products these are kind of apps which will enable uh, one the user experience for you you know it will get better and better both online on the web as well as on the uh, for, you know mobile internet you'll have apps to uh, download and work on them but then we are we have bigger ideas like universal app which could help you transact with multiple establishments just with one one single app you know which is not yet done anywhere else in the world and I know we will crack it in the next six eight months we'll crack it and we'll slowly start giving you 
an app for everything that you do from morning till evening, you know, and you would say, okay, this is the thing that I would want to use. That throws up a hundred new opportunities for Just Dial. While Just Dial has its hands full with the possibilities that new platforms and new technologies offer, a lot of thinking within the company, its DNA has been influenced by its founder, a first-generation entrepreneur who's proud to say that he failed many a time before succeeding. In fact, he says that it's because of failing that he succeeded. See, our success story has been more about bringing that small improvement every day. In fact, I have had several times, people meet us after several months or weeks or years, they say, you guys have done some earth-shattering innovation, man. You guys do this and that wow experience you keep giving to your customer and all that. We actually did it almost on a daily basis and that is what is continue, will continue to be the culture of Justin. In fact, you spoke to spoke about, uh, I mean, referred to the two failures that we had as an entrepreneurial in an entrepreneurial journey. I would, to be honest, tell you that we actually fail more number of things on a daily basis out here at Just Dial than be successful. But those few successes take us to a leap forward. But you know, a lot of people facing consumers and yeah. consumer facing companies are very wary of making those mistakes because the the general belief is the moment you deal with consumers. They'll forgive you for one failure or two failures, but you know, they're not going to forgive you if you fail the third time. Hasn't that kept you away from uh, experimenting too much? I think it's a bit of uh, too much of information knowledge is also dangerous. You know, I, I, I actually joke that, you know, if you look at the successful entrepreneurs in this country or anywhere else in the world, many of them will turn out to be dropouts and most of them are not made to management schools. And uh, so actually a joke, you know, good friend of mine is Sanjeev Bhikchandani, people like him have been successful despite being an MBA, you know, from a reputed institute. Too much of analysis paralysis is not good. You have to go and give it a shot. One of course, you have to believe your instinct, intuition, you also should be your own customer. If you become customer for your own product, you know, if you keep consuming your product, you will know where to bring the changes. But yes, not necessarily all the time you're successful. You know, you may put an, make an attempt and not succeed, you know, but then it's quickly you wind up and improve, improve the model. So we tried, for example, on a monetization. In fact, our entire business is automated. Sales activity, it is automated since 2007-8. I'm talking about our salespeople usually carry a laptop and they sign you online and they're talking to real time system, you know, online system. So in that, since it's a technology enabled thing, you tend to experiment a bit more. You know, you say, if I do this, will my consumer or customer benefit more? Will there be more satisfaction? Will that yield better revenue for the company? So in that experiment, we have failed several times, to be honest. And we have actually taken few steps forward, four steps backward. But it took a once, in fact, it took us for 10 months backward. And we got a big hit. And then we improved the model and got it. Today, it's like, a, thing that you know people love it and they like it the way it is but there are, that has gone through a lot of but, violence. So people look at the success they don't look at the failures and that's as important do you think? Absolutely I mean you know who is looking at the failure it is you the outsider is, is okay you look at particular incident as failure but over a period of time you can impress him with uh, better and better offerings you know which is what we did. That is a philosophy that this man genuinely believes in. In a country like India, where a basic simple need cap can create a million dollar opportunity, Just Dial has done more than that. It has been able to build on it. And who knows, as the world gets smaller and the needs larger, Just Dial could combine the virtues of Google and Facebook on Facebook and grow out of our midst.